In today's video, I tested some myths and secrets in Brookhaven. We turned into a car, became invisible, and even found a way to get premium cars for free. The first secret we'll be testing today will apparently help us get premium vehicles completely for free. Basically, all those that have this blue star icon. For you to use them, you'd normally need the premium game pass, which is quite a few Robux to get. But it's okay since this video is gonna show us how to get them for free. Apparently, this command will literally make a premium car just appear in front of you. I've never seen anything like that, so let's try it out. First, we'll need to change accounts as this one already has premium on it. There we go. Now we're finally ready to see what happens. As you can see, there's no premium on this account. And if I try to click any of these premium ones, nothing happens at all. So let's go over to the chat and write the same command on the video. After sending it in the chat, we should be able to spawn it. Wait, it actually just censored my whole message for some reason. The car also didn't spawn. Did I do anything wrong? I wrote it again. Still nothing happened though. Even if I try and click on it, I get no response. So that's for sure a fake one. It doesn't work at all. Now this video shows a way for us to turn into a tiny little car. First, we need to take our hair out. All right, guess we'll start balding about now. Oh, what have I become? After that, we need this black skin color and get both a black shirt and pants as well. So let's get Nando like that. Now let's search for some black shirts and then put them on. All we need now are the pants. And done! We're really camouflaged now. We'll now need that feminine model and make our character as small as possible. Let me get that body then and get that height diminished by a lot. I'll even take my face out. I don't think we'll need it. We now need to change our animations. We get the new, then the wizard down there. All right, then let's grab our new boy right here. Now on the second tab, we choose this wizard. Look at how I'm walking around now. It's like we're a penguin or something. All we need to do now is choose the car accessory will use. Then go with a motorcycle to the salon. Use that thing and with that will now be a little car inside of Brookhaven. All right, let's go look for the car and the accessories then. There's tons to choose from, but the best one for me is of course Lightning McQueen. Just look at how good it is. To finish this off, we get a motorcycle and go over to the salon to bug ourselves with this thing. It is done. We just delete the motorcycle and there we go. I'm literally Lightning McQueen right now. A bit of my body still shows up a little bit, but it still makes me look like a car in Brookhaven. So this one works as a charm. Look at that guy coming over to us. Get that ugly old car out of the way. Whoa! How can you call Lighting McQueen something like that? Do it or I'll run over that junk. Stop! Don't do that! Oh, I ended up just going into the car. This girl is gonna show us secret emotes in the game. The first being Wolf. Seems like it makes us spin around like crazy. So let's go and write that into the chat. Whoa! It looks like we're breakdancing. It's even cooler if we get ourselves a horse. Because if we try and ride it like that, we'll now be spinning even crazier in the air. And if you think that's it, you're actually wrong. Since if we go into our inventory and get an axe, grabbing it in our hands and trying to do its third animation will make us bug even further, even making us look like a hacker. It's also like we're still on the horse. Just look at that jump. An even cooler one is this AFK animation. As you send that into the chat, will make us start to float while doing this menacing T-pose. The horse animation bug still works here too. You can try and ride it, but you won't. You'll start start floating even higher while still able to get even more speed. Look at us go! We're flying! Our jump also keeps as high as the horse. We can basically jump from building to building quite easily this way. You can get on top of the church no problem. Just look at how easy that was. We're so high up right now. If you want to go even higher, we can go to the arches. Oh, that was sad! I was talking about the arches of Brookhaven. Just look at how high we are over here. And there I go again. Oh, that same guy from before showed up. You're hacking. Of course not. This is an actual Brookhaven bug, dude. Yes, you are. I'll report you. That doesn't even make sense, so. Goodbye, boring, weird guy. I really don't know what this guy's problem is. There's also this one called Aiden Lee Wool. We'll, of course, write it in the chat. With that done, we'll see another secret emote hidden in the game. It kind of looks like we're crossing an invisible 
little tightrope or something. Let's test the horse on this one too. What will happen? It mostly looks like the other one. Now if we try to do some axes animations with it. We literally bugged the whole animation out. Just look at my arms going crazy sometimes. It's so weird. And to finish it off we still have these slashy dance. Looks like there's actually three of them. Something happened though. I'm bugged on top of the horse now. I literally can't get out of here. How can I even debug myself from here? I'm serious. I can't jump out of the horse. Guess I'll delete it then. That helps. Those dances are pretty simple to do. We just need to write the slashy dance command in the chat. With that we'll have exclusive dances that are not on the animation menu. I bet few people even know of these ones. As I said there's even more. Like this third one. So there's even more different dances you can go around doing. Now on this video this guy wrote a command called invisible in the chat. And look at that. He actually did turn invisible. Seems like he's writing visible there right now. And it actually works. That's so cool. Alright. We gotta see if that can actually happen. Let's get that invisible command going. In theory we should be disappearing right about now. But that doesn't seem to have happened. That must probably be because that video wasn't recorded in actual Brookhaven. I may have been done in one of its many copies. Possibly this one right here. Brookhaven but everyone has admin. As you log in it does look quite a bit like Brookhaven. Just a tad bit different. Like auto shop in front of Rotten Robbie just doesn't exist. So it's probably done in an older version of the map. Even this space should be occupied by the apartments. But let's focus on what matters. Which is going into the chat and writing that invisible command. Does it work? Whoa! It actually does! I'm literally walking around and no one can even see me. I can send out a hi and I'll just be a floating speech bubble. Let's go back to the chat and write the visible command now. And with that we're back. Which is actually really fun to be able to do. Since this game accepts all commands. Why don't we try and eliminate each player that's in here right now. Let's send it in. Whoa! It actually worked. Just look at everyone having to spawn again. This is so cool. Apparently there's a command to jail someone. Wait! What just happened to me? Dude! What did they do to me? What was that? As I was saying, if we use this jail command, we need a player to use it with two. This is the guy we'll be doing it to. So let's see what happens now. Apparently nothing. I think I wrote it wrong the first time. There we go. He's actually stuck in there now. He's actually a sub. So let me get him out of there. I'm sorry for that dude. I hope we're cool after this. We can also use the fly command here. So we can fly around the whole map. But sadly, I don't think it's worth it. It doesn't have all the features of regular Brookhaven. Like getting houses or cars and stuff. One cool thing is this VIP area I just found. But since I'm not one of those, I probably will just be eliminated. That game would be a lot better if it had the updated map and Brookhaven's regular features. But sadly, they only work on those kinds of false maps. So that's gonna have to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and comment down below if any other secret you wanna see me try next. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. I I bet you'll like them. And don't forget to subscribe for even more Roblox just for you. Have a good one.